In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up MailChimp so that it will automatically send out your newest blog posts to your audience. So we're just going to follow the steps in this article, which I will include in the description of this video. So we're logged into our MailChimp dashboard. We're going to create um, a new campaign, and then we're going to click on Email and then Automate it. So over here, we're going to go ahead and click Create, and then Email and then automate it. Next, share blog updates, enter our campaign name, and choose an audience. So we are going to share blog updates. We are going to select our audience right here and click on Begin. Now it's gonna ask for your feed URL. So you wanna put your feed URL in here. If you don't know what it is, it's usually your domain name slash feed or slash RSS. So in this case, I'm gonna use feed and I'm going to copy this and hit enter just to make sure. Should try to open up my feed reader and this is a great indication to tell me that it worked because it's trying to open up my feed reader. So that's what we want. We're gonna go ahead and enter that URL right here. And they're only gonna send it if there's new content. So we're gonna set this to send out at 8 a.m. every day. And we will resize the RSS feed images to fit the template. Now, one thing that you wanna make sure you do do is install the plugin for the images because occasionally the images won't come through. So there is a plugin called Featured Images and RSS for MailChimp and more. And this is um, this plugin. Let's look at it real quick. Looks like this. And the author is Five Star Plugins. So you want to install that and activate it. And if you go to settings, you want to make sure I usually set the RSS image size to medium and set image left above text, five pixels, and enable linked images to post and save. Okay, so the next step, we've already done all of this. And I'm going to go ahead to the recipient. So we've done all this, we'll hit next. We're sending it to the entire audience, which is five recipients. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. If you wanna go ahead and send it to a group or segment, you can uh, click on these and it will allow you to select recipients or specific ones or segments. Um, you can specific, choose specific email addresses, but we're gonna use the entire audience here. So now we're gonna hit next. And now we have the campaign information. So this is going to basically allow you to design the campaign. And we basically want the um, campaign name to stay the same. The subject is going to automatically fill in the information. So we're going to change this to AJ Naples Realty News and put a colon. We're going to leave... Uh, We're gonna leave the preview text alone. We don't wanna actually use that. We're gonna leave this alone. If you have e-commerce, you can check that, but we don't. Um, we don't need clicktail link tracking. And we will leave this alone. We don't have Google integration in here, so we're gonna leave that alone as well. Um, we have the blog already set up to auto post, so we're gonna leave that. And if you have embedded videos, this is going to make sure that they automatically render in your email. So we're going to leave that on as well. All right, so there's all of our campaign information. And we're going to go ahead and click next. Now we're going to go ahead and choose our template. And we'll go ahead and choose, we don't want a product Basically, this is just a general blog. So I think we're gonna just use this one. Oh, we can't. So, yep. 
we'll just use the regular one. Okay, so this is going to be your regular information. Uh, we are going to get rid of the start shopping. And we're going to get rid of this information. We're going to add the logo in here. Let's change this. Save that. Now we don't need any of this in here. In here, So now we want to use the RSS merge tags. So we're going to go to blocks and we're going to use RSS item and RSS header. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look for RSS header. And we're going to drag it right over here. Okay, and we'll save that. And then we're going to add RSS items right here. And in here, because we already have the title there, we'll edit this. And we do not need the title. Oh, no, actually, we're going to leave that there because it's going to link to it. So we just want to make this paragraph. Uh, it won't let us change that, so we'll just leave that alone. So that's going to go ahead and insert the blog right into your site, into the email that goes out to, the, to everybody. So we'll go ahead and hit next. We're all done. Let's see what edit our social cards are. No, nope, we don't want to do that. So we're going to leave that alone. So everything's checked, and we're going to go ahead and click on Start RSS and Start Campaign. And there you go. You're all set. As you add new subscribers to your list, they will automatically be added to this campaign. The campaign will check for new blog posts daily on your website, and if you have one, it will automatically send it out. And if you don't have one, it won't send anything out. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop us a line at support at yoursiteneedsme.com. Thanks for watching.